So this is just a little bit of a review for polar coordinates as we're using them in Lab 8 for our class. And this is the example plot that you're going to have in Part 1 of your lab. And again, just to go over some of the text, but actually pointing some things out, you've got two measurements. The R measures how far out you are, and then the theta measures your angle as you go around. Now the first line out is 1, and it's not just 1 over here on this side. Anywhere on that circle has a value of 1. Anywhere on the next line out is going to have an R value of 2. Then you've got a value of 3 everywhere on this line. And it doesn't matter if you're on the right side or the left side. There's no 3 and minus 3. It's all that circle has a value of 3. And my final circle here has a value of 4. And if you're somewhere in between, you'd estimate it that it's got to be a value somewhere in between the two circles that it's around, between 3 and 4, or between the 2 and the 3 line. Your angles are marked out here on the edge, and for this particular plot, they only have an angle every 30 degrees. So this line would be 0 degrees. Anywhere on this line is 30 degrees. Anywhere on this line is 60 degrees, etc. as you go around. And it's only going from the center out. So even though this line is 60, this line over here is 240. And again, if you're somewhere in between the values or between two lines, then it's going to be somewhere between those two values. So between 210 and 240, or between 180 and 210, and you can estimate. If you have any questions about this particular plot or how to work in polar coordinates, make sure you ask before you move on in the lab or you're going to have some difficulties with some of the other sections.